Hi everyone at Teach Me Dorset, um, my name is Melissa Heppel, sorry I can't be with you tonight, we have parents evening, um, but I thought I'd share with you some of the ideas we've been working at at iPackery in Portland, um, we've been running a super class for the last term and a half, um, and we've massively developed our practice in that time and I'd really like to share with you some of the ideas and some of the things we've been working on. Um, in our super class environment we have um, three different roles, we've got um, a teacher who does a lead role, takes the majority of the children. We've got another role that's a, the stretch role, really pushing the children, pushing the children at the top end on, and a support role, kind of scooping up those guys and making sure they don't fall behind. Can they still access the learning? Um, as standard differentiation work, differentiation works in a classroom on a larger scale. Um, we've worked in several different styles within um, our learning base. Let me start off by showing you um, a, a picture of the classroom. Okay, so this is the space we work in. This is our larger space. We have a smaller, what we call our classroom, off to the side. Um, our classroom is the size of a standard classroom. We're very, very lucky. We're very spoiled with the space we have available in our in our super class space. You can see from this picture that um, we don't have we don't just have normal furniture in our classroom. We've got your standard tables that you might see in a in a in a normal classroom. We've also got lots of soft furnishing. We've got lots of nooks and crannies in the background. Um, over here, you can see there's a a red and a um, a grey seat. And this is a small learning area as well. Very secluded, very quiet area. We've also got a very a smaller room. We've got, I've mentioned the classroom. We've also got another smaller room off the side where interventions and small, very small group sessions. Kind of five children can work. At one time, it also works as our library. So children have lots of spaces within the spaces. There's lots of nooks and crannies they can work. I think I've got a picture here of um, a child making the most of a quiet space. I think it's really important that when people think of super classes, they think, oh, there's nowhere for children to go. There's 75 children in this classroom when this boy's reading, and he's still finding the space to find a really nice, quiet area for reading. Um, all those things that we, you know, are really important to the children still accessible now in our classrooms right a bit more about super classes we have between 65 and 75 children working in our space um depending on the session depending on whether it's literacy or maths or um we might be off t off task for a day when we started working in a super class we thought do you know what we really want to talk to them all together we don't want to break off as separate classes so we tried talking to them all you know delivering every session all together having different people around the room supporting those roles but you know giving you input together let me just give you a picture of what 70 kids look like in one space this was a non-uniform day with ice cream so please excuse the fact they're waving e numbers in the air um this is 75 kids sat out in a carpet area we have lots of spaces where we can have all the children in one space but it's really hard delivering an input to all of them it's really hard to keep them all on task so we've moved away from having them all together uh, during our main input we work as either three groups or two groups sometimes um, lead and stretch will work together sometimes lead and support to work together sometimes we work as three separate groups but one thing we found is really important is that we come back together for the plenary the children are we know that children are really good teachers and the learning they've shared through their session is picked up by all of the children. If, if you know, if the stretch group come back and say, we've discovered this in our investigation, they have to explain it, they learn more. The other children listen to their peers, they really respect them, they want to know what they're learning about. And suddenly someone will come up to me and say, oh, I've heard about right angles before because I heard such and such from, from the um, Octagon group, Octagon's group talking about it the other day in maths. Um, and those shared plenaries with all the children come together, no, no matter what their stage, are really, really valuable to our working space. So main inputs, separate, all come together for our plenary, sharing that learning, sharing our ideas and talking about what they've come on with. Um, here you can see a smaller group who are having an input in, during our classroom. Now you saw from um, the pictures earlier that we don't just have your average furniture in the classroom. Um, we've got some soft seating and the soft seating here is allowed for um, the children to be sitting on tiers. You can keep a lot of children in a small space, really keep them together, keep them on task, keep them focused on what they're doing by seating them like this. You can see the children, they can all see what they're doing. They can, they're all part of, um, you, just, you can't quite see the teacher on the left actually, but they're all focused on what she's doing and the space really helps us do that. 
Um, our classrooms are very flexible. We don't have, we're not restricted by projectors in their classroom. We're very lucky to have three of these large screens. So this is a picture from Harvest Festival, hence the random food at the bottom. Um, we have three of these screens in our learning bases. This is what, one of the earlier models. Um, the new ones have much better, they're not as reflective, but the children can all see them. If we've got all 70 children for our plenary on the carpet, they can all see these screens really clearly. It doesn't matter if it's a bright sunny day. Um, they, they raise and they go higher and lower so the children can use them, can interact with them as you would with a smart noteboard. But the most important thing about these is we can move our classroom around. Some days we might want a more traditional place with tables um, for the children to look at. I think here I've got a picture of a still life project going on. The children are all sat at tables for this. So this is how we've got our classroom arranged one day. But another day um, the children might want to be working on, working on different sorts of furniture. Here the children, are, some children are choosing to sit on the soft furnishing. Um, here you can see a real selection of work going on um, with the pupils. So being able to move our furniture around gives us loads of options for when we're working in a super class. Um, and having the screens that can move around, and we've also got lots of plug points in the floor, gives us the flexibility that we really need um, and the furniture really helps in that with our super class space. We're very, very lucky. The use of ICT as well, we have 30 iPads and 30 Chromebooks. Having that ICT available really helps us to use the space. The children don't all have to sit down and write if that's what they're doing. We've got the ICT, they can do some of their literacy work or their maths work on the ICTs. We've got cameras to hand, they can present their work, we can share it on our class blog. Um, all those interactive ways that the children don't have to just sit at the tables can use the spaces within our super class it really helps us and it helps us be the super class and it makes being a super class a little bit easier having all those things working as well. For our model that we use in our classroom it's really important that we have our three groups we don't just have two teachers you know I, I don't always teach the lower group in maths I don't want the children to go oh I'm in Miss Heppel's group I'm really rubbish at maths both myself and my the, the, my partner who I team teach with, we are in we are accountable for all sixty five children. Okay, we both teach everyone. Some one week I might teach um, stretch group in maths. Another week I might do lead. Another week I might do support. All children need to see all the teachers all the time, which means we are accountable for sixty five children. On paper, I have my registration group, but in reality, they're all my children. They're all her children. We oversee the progress of all 65, which might sound like a really daunting title. Oh, God, I've got, a, you know, assessments for 65 children. But you really get to know those children. You're assessing and working with someone else the whole time. We both know the strengths and the weaknesses of all 65 children in the room. We both read with all 65 children in the room. We understand them. We know their parents. We know their backgrounds. Most of these children will be in this learning space for two years. We really get to know them and understand how they work and what they need to be the best pupils they can be and this is much easier you know but both of us being accountable for the children means we know exactly that they can do what we said they can do we know it makes the leveling much easier it makes the data data management much easier um and this has been a much less daunting prospect than i thought on paper i was like hang on 65 children that's impossible but actually getting to know them both and working with someone else has been a massive strength Talking about um, the working with someone else aspect, um, I'm I'm new to teaching career. Um, I'm an NQT this year, but I've been my the the lady I team teach with. She's a very experienced teacher. Um, on paper, if dare I say the offset word, she's a good teacher. Um, but since working together, and then it, you know, it, of, don't get me wrong, it doesn't come down to. Um, teaching grades or anything but we have we've made the next step and we've had lessons observed as outstanding and I think this is because when you work with someone else you're really it pushes you both on you you develop your practice because you've got someone else to continually work with someone else to bounce ideas with you need to develop your working be that in the middle of a session or afterwards you need to be the reflective practitioners that we you know we know we do and it really, you really develop what you're doing. You both want the best out of the children. You both want to be the best teacher you can be. And you both want to do the best for the children. I think for us, 
I'm not saying it would work for everyone. For us, it's really helped us develop our practice. It's been a real joy to be able to share my teaching experience with other with with another teacher and being able to work in this way. And I feel very lucky to have the privilege of working um, at IPACA in this super class space, and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I think moving on, we you can see in the background actually of this picture, you can see um, we've got some screens on the wall, and I think it, we've had an opportunity to for these screens to be windows to other campuses. Um, other campus have the day can see it for the day can see into our classroom see what we're doing the children know they want to show to you know some of their teenage brothers and sisters at the secondary school and they've really risen to this they want to exhibit their work to those children they want to show their behavior they want to show that they can be excellent learners I think moving on so this can be little windows to the world is something that would really be interested in doing you know having these screens as glimpses to Australia and what are those children doing glimpse it might be glimpses to Bovington and see what those children are doing it doesn't have to be across the other side of the world but knowing there's other people out there to share your ideas share your work with is just an excellent platform for the children to do and hopefully using the ICT in our super class space to be able to further the children on with what they can do is a great thing that we're looking towards um so thank you for listening um hope I haven't gone too fast or gone up too much. If you get a chance, please do visit our Osprey Key blog. Um, we do have, there is a tour of our classroom on there if you want to see a bit about how the children, how children are working. It's during a guided reading session. And there's lots of work that the children have been doing online. I'm sure they would love a comment from you if you, feel, if you have a spare few moments. Um, please do follow me on Twitter. Any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer. Thanks a lot and I hope you have a great rest of the evening.